the elevations al araf in the name of god the gracious the merciful alif lam mim sod a scripture was revealed to you so let there be no anxiety in your heart because of it you are to warn with it and a reminder for the believers follow what is revealed to you from your lord and do not follow other masters beside him little you recollect how many a town have we destroyed or might came upon them by night or while they were napping when our might came upon them their only cry was we were indeed wrongdoers we will question those to whom messengers were sent and we will question the messengers we will narrate to them with knowledge for we were never absent the scales on that day will be just those whose weights are heavy it is they who are the successful but as for those whose weights are light it is they who have lost their souls because they used to mistreat over revelations we have established you firmly on earth and made for you in it livelihood but rarely do you give thanks we created you then we shaped you then we said to the angels bow down before adam so they bowed down except for satan he was not of those who bowed down he said what prevented you from bowing down when i have commanded you he said i am better than he you created me from fire and you created him from mud he said get down from it it is not for you to act arrogantly in it get out you are one of the lowly he said give me respite until the day they are resurrected he said you are of those given respite he said because you have lured me i will waylay them on your straight path then i will come at them from before them and from behind them and from their right and from their left and you will not find most of them appreciative he said get out of it despised and vanquished whoever among them follows you i will fill up hell with you all and you adam inhabit the garden you and your wife and eat whatever you wish but do not approach this tree lest you become sinners but satan whispered to them to reveal to them their nakedness which was invisible to them he said your lord has only forbidden you this tree lest you become angels or become immortals and he swore to them i am a sincere advisor to you so he lured them with deceit and when they tasted the tree and say to you that satan is a sworn enemy to you they said o lord we have done wrong to ourselves unless you forgive us and have mercy on us we'll be among the losers he said fall some of you enemies to one another on earth you will have residence and livelihood for a while he said in it you will live and in it you will die and from it you will be brought out o children of adam we have provided you with clothing to cover your bodies and for luxury but the clothing of piety that is best these are some of god's revelations so that they may take heed o children of adam do not let satan seduce you as he drove your parents out of the garden stripping them of their garments to show them their nakedness he sees you him and his clan from where you cannot see them we have made the devils friends of those who do not believe and when they commit an indecency they say we have found our parents doing that and god has commanded us to do it say god does not command indecencies 
are you attributing to God what you do not know? Say, my Lord commands justice and to stand devoted at every place of worship. So call upon him and dedicate your faith to him alone, just as he originated you, so you will return. Some he has guided and some have deserved misguidance. They have adopted the devils for patrons rather than God, and they assume that they are guided. O children of Adam, dress properly at every place of worship and eat and drink, but do not be excessive. He does not love the excessive. Say, who forbade God's finery which he has produced for his servants and the delights of livelihood? Say, they are for those who believe in this present world, but exclusively theirs on the day of resurrection. We thus detail the revelations for people who know. Say, my Lord has forbidden immoralities, both open and secret, and sin, and unjustified aggression, and that you associate with God anything for which he revealed no sanction, and that you say about God what you do not know. For every nation is an appointed time. When their time has come, they cannot delay it by one hour, nor can they advance it. O children of Adam, when messengers from among you come to you, relating to you my revelations, whoever practices piety and reforms, upon them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. But as for those who reject our revelations and are too proud to accept them, these are the inmates of the fire, where they will remain forever.